Congressman's supporters. Joining me now to talk about the dangerous Ron Paul campaign uh, is his very dangerous son, Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky. Senator, great to have you with us. Congratulations on your father's uh, second place showing, strong showing, uh, just about 23% of the vote last night. He's got to be thrilled. You all have to be very pleased. Well, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. And I was up there in New Hampshire, and everywhere we went, we had huge crowds that they couldn't even put in most of the venues. We were up near Lake Winnipesaukee at a hotel there, and the owner said he'd had presidential candidates for 20 years and never seen any with this big a crowd. Well, these, uh, the intensity uh, of your father's support is, uh, is terrific. It, it's noted all across the country, uh, and it is consistent. Uh, and in a recent poll, as you well know, uh, Governor Romney beating uh, uh, President Obama by two points, your father down by one point, both results obviously within the uh, margin of error. Uh, that has got to be as well, uh, well, it, it's got to be uh, exciting uh, for you to see that kind of potential performance against the, the man ultimately that a Republican will be running against. Yeah, do you think maybe some of these pundits on TV that keep saying Ron Paul can't win would look at the polls mm -hmm. and see that only Ron Paul and Mitt Romney are able to compete with uh, the president right now? <laughs> and when you poll Ron Paul against President Obama, Ron Paul beats him by seven points among independents, mm -hmm. and yet every pundit on TV is like, oh, Ron Paul can't win. Well, maybe we shouldn't start well, wait, with no, the wait, conclusion. Wait, wait. We ought to look at the numbers first. <laughs> Senator, uh, first. Don't ask me to explain pundits off television anywhere. Uh, two, there are some, uh, you know, there's some names, including my own, that I'd like to reserve from that list that you just suggested. Uh, the, the, your, your father's going to have to win a race and, and in order to get there. Uh, and, and I think it's that straightforward. Now, I've heard you complain about the media. I do so as well about the liberal media in this country. Uh, but the reality is he's going to have to win. Where is he going to win? Well, you know, we'd like to win in South Carolina, and we've made a simple request that I think would make it possible if all the other candidates would drop out other than Romney and it were just Ron Paul versus Romney. I think we have a chance in a head-to-head -head battle, but we're dividing up the vote, and uh, unfortunately, I think the other candidates would prefer it to be the other way around, but <laughs> I think that's what happens. You know, in 2008, the conservatives divided the vote also in South Carolina and other places, and so what we do is we're fighting, I think, mostly for some of this conservative vote. And so we try to remind people when someone says they're a Reagan conservative, but they voted to double the size of the Department of Education, they voted to expand Medicare, those aren't very Reagan-esque type of policies. And, and, and Reagan was a complicated individual, let's stipulate as well, Senator. I mean, there are a lot of his policies that would be considered to be... Uh, unconservative uh, and uh, and some of your fathers that would be considered uh, uh, if you will uh, uh, unconservative as well whether we're talking about legalizing marijuana or whether we're talking about his foreign policy uh, but on balance uh, you know I think you, know, you have to look at the proposals that your father has made uh, in their totality uh, the appeal right now has to rise to a level now uh, significantly uh, above what he has achieved so far do you think you can do it in South Carolina without all the other candidates? I mean, it would be helpful if just all the other candidates would drop out, of course. I, I, I would. Uh, right, so you think that's not going to happen? I, I guess if I'm that's not, not, not going to happen. Gonna, I'm not going to suggest <laughs> such a thing. If it's not going to happen, I think our best route to victory is uh, still independent voters, getting independent voters out. Right. I'm not as sure with the rules in South Carolina, and I'm not sure sure. that's a possibility. The other possibility is is that we go to the voters who want a conservative alternative to Governor Romney and we say look there's only one who truly is presenting a balanced budget in one term mm -hmm. presenting a trillion dollars in cuts who has opposed most of the big government expansions of the last several decades there's only really one consistent conservative in the race if we can convince conservatives to come to Ron Paul coalesce then I think we'd have a shot all right. Well, we'll look forward to that as always. And, Senator, it's always good to have you with us. Appreciate it. Senator Rand Paul. Thank you, Lou. Thanks uh, for being with us. And uh, good luck in South Carolina and with those other candidates. Uh, that's, a, that's an interesting <laughs> proposition you put forward. And a reminder. Uh,